is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today um pretty much all i'm gonna do is be showing you guys these custom finn balors that i've been working on you guys know for christmas i picked up eight of the elite top talents or top picks 2018 finn balor elite figures for christmas and then i bought four on the new year's sale on ringside collectibles went ahead and picked up four more that way i would have 12 uh, non-demon Finn Balor's as bases so that I can make, you know, his different attires. I wanted to expand and add to the Finn Balor Elite Collection. You know, I had a ton of demons and only like two non-demons, so I was like, man, I gotta balance it out a little bit. So I went ahead and picked up a bunch of those top picks, and what I've done, I still have four missing from here. I think I have four up on the shelf or so that uh, I still have to customize as well, but we do have these four pretty much done. They're not completely finished. Um, I believe that all of them actually have a little bit more work to be done on them, but uh, I did knock out a lot of this over the last few days, and I wanted to go over it with you guys. I also have something to show you, and I might as well talk about some paints and stuff like that while we're here, just in case you guys wonder about custom stuff. But anyways, the first figure that we have is the Elimination Chamber 2018 Finn Balor. This is obviously what he looked like. He came out in the blue attire. Um, in the Elimination Chamber, you know, when uh, I think it was Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, The Miz, Elias, and Finn Balor in that Elimination Chamber. Really good match, you know, even though it was booked all the way for Roman Reigns. Um, there are a few things that I have to do to this figure. There's like some blemishes on his arms I got to remove with acetone. Uh, I got to touch up the wrist tape right there. It's a little bit runneth over there. But I like this royal blue color. I think it turned out nice as far as the Elimination Chamber attire goes. It's one of my favorites. You guys know that. But um, going down into the knee pads, all I did was I kept the figure exactly how it was. And um, you guys will notice on the back, I have not done... this. Is, there's actually a dilemma right here, which I'll get into in a second. But you guys can see the knee pads are painted up, the kick pads. I even added the shoe details down here. Um, he wears Nike Freak wrestling shoes, so I went ahead and added the details to all of that. On the butt, you guys will notice that the logo, obviously, is still a rainbow color. So the reason that it's the rainbow color is because the Top Talents figure has a specific look to it. We'll use this one as the base. You guys can see that the BC logo is on the right side. And uh, what sucks is that the blue attire had the BC on the left butt cheek and the stripe on the left side. And I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So should I just paint over the uh, BC logo on the on, over here in black or whatever color it is? It's like a navy-ish color. But paint over it there and then just add the stripe on the wrong side. It would be a lot easier. I wouldn't have to hand paint the BC logo, so it would make it a lot easier on me. However, it wouldn't be 100% accurate, but I wanted to let you guys know and see what your guys' opinion is. Again, it wouldn't be accurate, but it would probably make the custom a lot easier, or I'll have to buy decals or whatever and add the BC logo and the stripe over here. I'm definitely going to paint the stripe. I just don't really want to hand paint uh, the BC logo. I feel like that would be a major headache, but... Uh, that is Elimination Chamber Finn Balor. Again, let me know down in the comment section below which uh, which one you guys would like me to do. Uh, which is more accurate, but harder or uh, easier and less accurate. Just let me know down below. The next figure that we do have is Money in the Bank Finn Balor. And you guys know this is what everybody calls his Spider-Man attire, I do believe. Everybody says, oh yeah, that's the Spider-Man gear. It's like the navy and red attire that Finn Balor wore at Money in the Bank and uh, you know he didn't have a strong showing in that match it wasn't my favorite I hated the outcome of Braun Strowman winning he doesn't have his hands in there because uh, I wanted to wait until I finished up his paint job before I put his hands back in there but you guys can see the navy color going around on the back we do have the BC logos uh, painted up in the white outline with the red. I think this came out pretty clean. I do want to touch up the red at the top, but I am happy overall with the way the BC came out. Another thing that I have to add is the glitter. He had like a glitterish uh, tone added to his, it's like a navy slash purple mix, and the color was really hard to make, but I did have to mix up some colors and everything, but I think it came out alright. I'm just missing that glitter. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, I may have to get some different customizers opinions on that before going forward with it, but down in the knee pads you see got the, uh, the navy color on the front, red on the back, um, down in the kick pad, still got that navy color, and then he wore the same shoes that he wore at Elimination Chamber at Money in the Bank, so you guys can see that's accurate there. And then, um, again, he had the glitter pattern on his kick pads, his knee pads, and the trunks. He didn't have it on the wrist tape, obviously, but uh, I am not completely done with this. Still got to touch it up again. I think every single one of these figures is also missing, like he's missing the Ballad Club logo on the front here. And the, blue, the Elimination Chamber wasn't missing any logos besides that stripe and the black logo. 
But uh, this one's missing the Baller Club logo right here, which I'm not going to hand paint. I'm going to get a decal for it because I didn't like how small that Mattel made it. So that is what we're going to do for that one. And then up next, we do have the, uh, I think this is, what was it? Survivor Series 2017 and a 2017 red attire. And basically all this is is uh, the, blue, the blue attire, but in red, except for there's usually a BC logo right here in like a glossy color. It's the same BC logo, the Battle Club logo that's on the top talents on the butt cheek. Uh, same logo goes right here, but it's like in a glossy red. He also has some red little stripes, or red stripes. What are you, a dumb idiot moron? He has black stripes that go down the sides. Um, on both sides that are symmetrical that I have to get to. I still have to add a couple coats to the wrist tape. They're not completely done. The knee pads are completely done. They are red and black, just like you see here. Um, on the kick pads, everything is done except for the shoe details. I gotta get the, you know, the wrestling shoe details and then I have to add the black stripes to the back of the kick pads. But I'm pretty impressed with the way this red color covered. I think that it, it took me a ton of coats and a ton of thinning out the paint, but I finally got it and I still have to make his Royal Rumble attire. I was gonna do that today, but, um... This one took me so freaking long that I, I didn't have time to do it today, but I will get to that. But we do have the Finn Balor in the 2017 Raw attire, and I will be uh, completing this very soon. Uh, again, all I have to do is that BC logo in the gloss, and then the black uh, stripes shoe. I mean, the, all of them are so close to being finished, but they're not quite there yet. So it's kind of frustrating, but I did want to uh, get as many of them done as possible. And the last one that we do have is the Extreme Rules 2017, I think, or is it 2018? It may be 2018, I can't remember, but it's where he fought Trash Corbin, you guys know, in the gunmetal gray and black attire. And this silver came out really nice. I'm really impressed with the way this uh, gunmetal gray color came out. Again, uh, it's supposed to say Balor Club spelled out in black on the front. But I'm going to get a decal because, uh, again, I don't. I, it was way too small to hand paint over and like fill it in with silver. It was just a real headache. So I think I'm going to go with a decal from the front there. Uh, I didn't have to do anything with the wrist tape. It was already black in that match. I had to paint the knee pads the silver color, add the black to the back, and then the kick pads. What sucks is that... His kick pads are differently molded than Daniel Bryan's. Uh, his are just like CM Punk's. They have like these little uh, things inside, like these ridges or whatever you want to call that. Um, I should probably just paint over it and just fill it in with black so it's like a square look. Um, here's a good example of it. On this one, I switched his kick pads with some Daniel Bryan ones. and You guys can see there's ridges on this one and not on this one. This is more accurate, but uh, I don't have a bunch of Daniel Bryans to switch at the moment, so I figured that uh, if, I, if worse came to worse and I wanted to make it 100% accurate, I could switch out for Daniel Bryan kick pads, and I could, you know, switch the feet over to there and just paint up the kick pad if I wanted to do that. But I did paint up the shoes accurately. We got all the gunmetal gray and black going around. It's not a huge deal, though, but these are supposed to be square like this, not with the little ridges. Uh, but I think it adds a little wrinkle to it. I think it makes it look pretty nice. But uh, on the back, we did uh, use the top talent, Sven Balor, as you guys can see here. Um, I just painted on the triangle and then, of course, went over that rainbow BC logo with black and then filled it in with silver. Very, you know, I had to be pretty meticulous about it because that logo and that crease is so small and that C right there. But uh, it came out all right. I actually am pretty happy with the way that came out. But um, if there are any other non-demon attires that you guys would like to see, I would love to know because I'm trying to figure it out myself. I know I have quite a few to do here. I'm not really interested in doing like tribute to the troops. I'm not really interested in doing, you know, the different ones where it's like the blue trunks with the white knee pads and the red kick pads or the ones he wears at live events. I am planning on doing, I didn't want to do it in the next few days because I wanted to separate WWE action figure surgery. I wanted to wait for episode 15, but I think on episode 15, we are going to be making an all white live event Finn Balor attire to go in here with the custom Balors. I will have to deconstruct one of my favorite customs in my collection to make it happen, but I think that it is appropriate and I think everything will turn out all right at the end, but that is something that I want to do. And uh, I would love to know some other Finn Balor attire. I know i got to do Royal Rumble 2018, which is like a maroonish red color. Um, I think TLC may have been even a different shade of red, so I may have to do that. Um, you have his black and gray attire. You have his black and red attire. You have his black, uh, gray, and white. You have his, uh, what? I mean, he has a bunch of different ones that are black. And I really don't want to do those because they're so boring, you know. And I'd rather save these other Balors for, you know, other attires that he may wear. 
but I want to make sure that I get all the bright colors, all the colors that I like, all the attires that I like and everything. So that is something that I want to do, but uh, this is a certain paint that I want to talk about right quick before we get to the end of the video. Uh, this paint right here, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. I think it's like a $1.50 or so. It is called Ceramco. Very strong paint, guys. I would recommend that if you're, you know, starting out painting, um, you know, you don't have to thin it out that much. It applies really well. I did all of the colors you see here with Ceramco, so I definitely would recommend that. Another good paint is Game Color. I know I talk about Citadel all the time, but Game Color is really strong too. I ba it, th These color uh, cover really, really well, especially black. This will cover black by itself. So I started out with a base coat for that blue. So I covered uh, everything in black with this, and then I came back with this ultra br blue color in the Ceram coat. And uh, it, it made that perfect royal blue color for Finn's Elimination Chamber attire. I also uh, coated uh, the Money in the Bank one in that blue color and then came back with this navy blue color to get the Money in the Bank. For the red, I just Ceram coated the Survivor Series. I figured that that would be the easiest. I just did 100 coats and it, it took a while, but I finally got it. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys before the end of this video is a gift that I picked up that is from my wife, a late Christmas present, and it is my custom MDT socks. How sick are these? They're absolutely beautiful, and I love them so much. So uh, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you. I can't wait to rock these. Uh, maybe in the future one day we'll have some up on like a shop or something that you guys can buy, maybe some t-shirts as well, but I wanted to grow the channel a little bit more before we do something like that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on all the Finn Balor customs. I'd love to know your thoughts on these socks as well. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.